What is going on my broskies? My name is Totski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Once again, we're back. We're looking at the Zephyr Sugo Fest once again. I just uploaded a video before discussing the full breakdown of the Sugo Fest in terms of guaranteed steps along the way for this specific treasure map Sugo Fest. It's a lot different compared to a lot of the other treasure maps that we've had because as I said in my previous video, uh, there, there basically was no scheduled treasure map rare recruits to arrive with this batch. But Bandai pulled a shifty one and developed some treasure map rare recruits out of nowhere and given it to us. Now, the rare recruits that are actually coming out with this Sugo are specifically like special limited time characters that arrived on the Japanese version like years ago and Global never got them. So they're just re-releasing them now because we didn't have any treasure map rare recruit characters for this particular batch. I don't know why they couldn't have just let it go and just let Zephyr, Ayn and Bins be the main boosters, but it is what it is. I'll be having another video discussing the full breakdown of treasure map lore, uh, maybe tomorrow because I already have to get all these videos up. So I'll probably have that up ready tomorrow for you guys uh, with the breakdown of that. So hopefully you look forward to that. As I said, in this video, we're going to be talking about all of the new characters arriving in this Sugo Fest. So let's go ahead and start things off with the treasure map rare recruit characters. So the first one here is going to be Cavendish. Now Cavendish is not really a good character whatsoever. He is, I think, a one point or a 1.75 point booster. I don't remember exactly. It's not really relevant. This character is terrible. He's a slasher driven character. He's also a Psy character. His captain effect is a 2.25 times type boost to quick and Psy, and as well as giving them a 1.3 times recovery boost. So a pretty average captain effect. But I guess for treasure map, it's not terrible considering he is such a high point booster. And then his special ability, which maxes at 15, will set all enemies defense to zero for one turn and changes the character slot to Psy. So he gives himself a Psy Orb, and your friend Captain's Orb will become a Strength Orb. Again, I, I don't really see much use for this special. I, I mean, setting defense to zero is good, but the Orb manipulation is very confusing in my eyes. I don't really see why that's a thing. But, I mean, this is the new Cavendish. He doesn't have many Sailor abilities, unfortunately. He doesn't get a Limit Break. He's a very special character that only arrived, like, once on one of the JP Sugos. So, I mean, he's here, and he's guaranteed on the second multi, I believe, of the treasure map uh, Sugo Fest. So that's it for the Cavendish. Let's go ahead and talk about Sanji. This is the, I, I believe this guy is actually the higher point booster. That would make a lot of sense considering he's guaranteed on the fifth multi, I believe, of the Sugo Fest. So this Sanji is a Dex fighter powerhouse. His captain effect boosts fighter characters attack by 2.5 and boosts powerhouse characters recovery by 1.2. A 2.5 times captain effect for a treasure map rare recruit character is actually pretty good. So that is, it is what it is really. He especially is five turn cooldown that changes all slots randomly including block and reduces special charge time for a chosen character by one turn now the really annoying thing is is that his special ability doesn't have any sort of ability that rewinds his special if he gets rewinded and his special is not multi-staged either which means that this kind of special doesn't really have that much usability in my personal opinion i'm not really the biggest fan of it and the fact that he will change all of your orbs no matter what like even if you've got matching orbs he will shuffle them away as well so that's also kind of bad but if you're ever in a situation where you get a full board of block orbs this guy just will be able to shuffle them away for you and that's it basically for Sanji and uh, and Cavendish they don't really help out that much for the upcoming bosses in treasure map which is why I'm really upset and also the fact that both Cavendish and Sanji are not shooter characters, which means that they don't directly work with the new character that literally states in his captain effect you need six shooter characters for him to work it's it's mind-boggling. I'm not a big fan of the way that these that, they, that these characters are built, and I don't understand why they're in this Sugo Fest. It it's it. Ugh. The more I talk about it, the more upset I'm going to get. So let's get start talking about these treasure map rare recruit characters, or just the rare recruit characters really that come along with Zephyr. The first one here is Bins. Now Bins is a Psy shooter free spirit character, and he does have a limit break, uh, uh, unlike the other characters uh, Sanji and Cavendish, which is great to see. His captain effect is pretty stock standard with a 2.5 times boost to shooters, and also providing a 1.25 times health boost, so nothing really special there. He does come with max special though, which was stated in the Sugo. Any of the new characters that arrive in this Sugo with obviously Cavendish and Sanji as well they come with max special level which is amazingly useful for the treasure map itself so his special ability as we said 10 turn cooldown after limit break deals 40 times his attack in non-type damage AoE, which is great. And he also delays them for one turn as well. Obviously, if you're using him in Treasure Map, uh, he gets stat boosts, which obviously means that his AoE damage does more. And also states that if the enemy with the highest health pool is 80% or lower, 
it will greatly boost shooter characters orbs by uh, 1.75 so it's a 1.75 boost for three turns for shooters if you do fulfill that condition now you are able to fulfill that condition if you use zephyr of course because zephyr is a 30 percent health cutter so that's a way to do it or if you just have some sort of way to get them below 80 percent first and then use his special ability um that's actually really good because i believe on the final stage of the main boss of the treasure map if you use any type of orb boosting effect you get 10 turns of slot bind so that's pretty good to have that kind of effect to use it on the turn prior and then you can take the orb boost into the final stage and i assume that's the way that it's supposed to be structured now he does have two crewmate abilities the first one will go ahead and give you 50 base uh stats to your hp for shooter characters and his secondary one will make shooter characters int orbs have matching slot effects that is ridiculously useful so i'm really glad that he has that but overall outside of the treasure map i don't see myself using this character all that much yes he's a three turn orb booster for shooters but we have a character namely uh rare recruit margaret who does the exact same thing that doesn't have that specific um condition to fulfill so i'm not really a big fan of this character overall uh, and I don't think Rare Recruit Margaret is even boosted, so I guess it's kind of like you have to use this character, which is kind of annoying. But, um, yeah, I mean, he has better stats than Margaret, which is kind of good. But overall, he's not really an amazing character. He's not really too game-breaking whatsoever. And now we're going to be moving on to the next Rare Recruit character, which is going to be Ayn. Now, Ayn is actually really freaking amazing. She is so useful to have. She is an int shooter slasher character. Captain Effect is going to boost shooter and slasher character's attack and recovery by 1.75. So, again, not really a good character captain effect not really why you use her her special ability also maxing at 10 turns like uh bins as well she first of all will go ahead and reduce all enemies defense up and damage reduction by two turns so that's amazing reduces two turns of blue and rainbow shield and also reduces crew's bind and despair duration by two turns and if your crew has a damage reduction effect she's going to heal 20 percent of your crew's max hp uh, and then it says reduces damage taken by 70 percent for one turn otherwise so that's actually amazing rio because you can go ahead and get that utility of reducing blue and rainbow shield by two turns you get the bind and despair reduction, and then you get either one of two effects, depending on if you have a damage reduction effect active on your team. And if you do, you get a little bit of a health recovery, but if you don't, you get a 70% damage reduction. She's very good, and she is going to be extremely vital for the upcoming treasure map. She, she just has an ability that can get rid of a lot of different debuffs on a lot of different bosses. Um, so she's extremely useful to have. Uh, she gets the crewmate ability of making this character immune to special bind. That is, again, ridiculously useful. And then she has the crewmate ability of making characters, shooter characters, size slots have matching slot effects. So basically, if you have iron and bins on your crew, it's the same sort of effect as having Capone as your captain, making sign it beneficial. So that's great. She also has barrier penetration and she will go through barriers all the time when she is 50% or higher in health and also has double special activation. And this is why this character is so useful, right? Because having that double special activation is going to be ridiculously useful once again for the treasure map. Unfortunately, I know a lot of people are not going to be able to get that and I completely understand that. I know I'm probably not going to get it. I know a lot of people in this community are not going to have this character, especially rainbowed out at the end of the treasure map to... Uh, uh, you know go ahead and get better abilities off against the treasure map so it is kind of annoying that they made her like this where you have to basically abuse her double special activation but just think it's going to be a character that as you pull more copies she's going to get more and more useful and eventually once she does get that double special activation maxed out you can reduce so many turns you reduce four turns of defense up damage reduction you reduce four turns of bind and despair and then depending on your situation you can get 40 percent health back or you know you get your damage reduction effect so yeah this character is really good like definitely the best rare recruit of the batch aside from the new legend character of course so yeah iron is a very good character to get in the upcoming sugo fest and now we get to the big man himself we have the neo marines leader zed or zephyr or z however you want to say it i'm calling him zephyr so zephyr absolute unit absolute unit i love the artwork so much on this character as well he is a quick shooter fighter character and his captain effect states that if there are six shooters on your crew boost shooter characters attack by 3.9 times when you have a matching orb 3.25 times otherwise and also reduce damage taken by 10 percent now this is why i was stating in my earlier video why i'm not a big fan of the way that this sugo fest was built because we have the rare recruit sanji and we have the rare recruit cavendish and they are going to be very high point boosters which is good but as you just saw from his captain effect, you need six shooters on your crew in order to get his captain effect to activate. 
I don't understand why they did that. That doesn't make any sense because Cavendish and Sanji aren't shooters. So they don't work directly with the new character, which makes no sense, which means that you're not going to be getting a high point boost to the team overall, even if you do pull all the characters, which is ridiculously annoying. But he's still got a really good captain effect and it's definitely going to be useful for like future events and I, I really want to get this character because I'm a big fan of shooter teams as you guys probably would know by now so I really want to get my hands on this character but you know nine multis it is quite steep considering how many pulls I did on the Capone Sugo Fest and still didn't walk away with the Capone man I'm, I'm so upset I still don't have Capone but maybe I can pull him in the Sugo Fest we'll have to wait and see but let's talk about his special ability right so he, he maxes at 12 turns and once again like the other characters in this batch he comes with max special when you pull him which is awesome so his special ability reduces one enemy's HP by 30%, so that's awesome. However, it doesn't go through barriers, which is a little bit unfortunate, but still, it's a 30% health cut, and also adds 50 times his attack in non-type damage on top of tap timing bonuses for two turns. So this is great as well. He can add a ridiculous amount of, uh, of attack. Actually, I'm going to pull out my calculator right now so I can calc this. So he has 1814, so it's basically 2014 attack times it by 50 with cotton candies, 100,000 extra damage per tap for two turns. That's awesome, man. That is so useful to have. And that's only going to be getting even more boosted on the treasure map as well, because I think he has he has some really good stat boosts. So he his tap timing bonus is going to be doing stupid amounts of damage. And you got to think, right? He does that tap timing bonus damage as well as the health cut. And it even goes even further with stating that changes shooter character slots, including block, into matching. So that's awesome as well. The fact that he can grant you that full board of orbs. So yeah, Zeph is a great legend. And especially with all of the shooters that we have now on One Piece Treasure Cruise Global. Yeah, I think that he's definitely going to be a good character. And I think out of the movie legends right now, I feel like he at the, at the moment, Zeph probably is the best movie legend as we have it right now. Uh, Shiki is still quite good though. Guilty Zora as a captain isn't really that amazing. But I think that overall as an overall unit i do think that shooters are probably the best right now and i think that zephyr is going to be able to beat a lot of content as it comes out so i'm excited to potentially get my hands on him i really have to think about whether or not i want to be doing the pulls or not for him but before we end this video we have to talk about his crewmate abilities so first of all as a crewmate he adds four times his attack on top of tap timing bonus damage i believe we have had a couple of these uh, crewmate abilities before that add tap timing bonus but this is, I think, by far the most significant boost that we've had out of a crewmate ability. Four times his attack is amazing. And then he also has the effect recovery and tandem orbs are counted as matching for shooter characters. That is so good. Especially if you have Capone Captain with this guy as a sub. That's automatically four guaranteed matching orbs all the time, man. Like, that is ridiculous. Oh, I really want Capone. <laughs> I really want this guy. I want Capone. I just want the whole shooter squad because they're amazing. Now, one of the great things about shooter teams in particular is of their barrier penetration. Obviously, when you max it out, he completely bypasses barriers with his normal attacks. He also has strength damage reduction up to 7%, and he has enrage up to 250. Now, that also adds onto his tap timing bonus damage. That's cool, man. <laughs> Zeph is a cool unit. He's a really cool legend. But obviously, as I said in my previous video as well, this is not really the time to be pulling. If you guys are free to play, you still have to be waiting for Snake Man because in my opinion, that's, that's going to be the best time to be pulling for you guys. But that is going to end the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.